With the NFL Draft just a month or so away, we take a look at the top quarterbacks in this draft class. Looking at this cycle, the, the quarterback play has been a bit inconsistent. And inconsistent not in, in, in the sense that the quarterback play has been bad, but that it is hard to evaluate whether or not it's going to be able to translate to the NFL. Let's take a look look at the, at the first guy, Bryce Young, starting quarterback at Alabama. Intangible, everything you want is there in terms of the arm, the mobility, po the pocket passing capability, being able to read, going through the reads, the accuracy is there. He's one of the most, probably the most accurate quarterback in the draft. The only thing here is is the measurables. This guy's listed in at 5'10", 175, relatively light for a quarterback. So there are concerns with Bryce Young and his frame to play in the NFL. I still think he's going to be a baller, but there's concerns for that. The next guy is C.J. Stroud. Quarterback at Ohio State. There's a lot of questions with him in terms of his athleticism. How, if he's a dual threat quarterback, he has those dual threat capabilities. Also, the offense in Ohio State, easy for easy read offense, easy for him to distribute the ball. His accuracy at times has been questionable. Then the, the other two guys, which are more the, the most polarizing quarterbacks in this draft, are none other than Will Levis and Anthony Richardson. Will Levis from, from Kentucky and Anthony Richardson from Florida. Started with Will Levis, uh, dude, dude has ridiculous arm talent, a lot of Josh Allen comparison, but to me, a lot of Blake Bortle type comparison, just to, you know, turn, like he just doesn't, his deep ball accuracy isn't the best, is it doesn't really see the field that well, inconsistency, to me, he's a big, big boomer bust product, and then we look at Anthony Richardson, extremely, extremely athletic dude, I mean, we've seen what he can do when in sync, he has the ability to read the field. He just needs to understand how to play, play more. He has like accuracy, accuracy issues, and just understanding. I think the offense. I think he is. I think he's, in my opinion, one of the most talented quarterbacks in this draft. More talented than the other guys. His ceiling is ridiculously high, but his flow is really low. Low. So for him, he's he's the type of quarterback you sit for a few, just just a while until he is able to progress and learn an NFL playbook and adapt, and eventually he could be a really good starter.